Hi everybody. Today I will show you how to unroot your Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos. Actually, I'm preparing this video out of uh, the numerous requests that I have uh, that I have got through my channel from your, my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for the awesome response on that. Okay, so do the step. You just need to have some files, certain files with you. I have given the links to download the Odin file and also this particular file. This is a firmware of your Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos, the original firmware. Because this unrooting process will show you that uh, how you will get the original firmware that was already there. So you are eligible for uh, the warranty services by Samsung and all. Right. So this is original uh, firmware. The Odin is there, and of course, most importantly, in your device. Uh, just if you see uh, this particular app that says triangle away this particular app is required this is a paid app of course you need to go to uh, go to the store and need to purchase this particular app uh, I will recommend that also although HDA developers forum offers you to download the APK from there but still uh, as it's a very good app it's a very useful app I'll recommend you to purchase it for once and all okay now uh, to check whether your phone is being rooted or not uh, I have installed root checker over here you just open the root checker and if you check you will see that it says root access access granted your phone is being rooted so now uh, let us start the unrooting process at first you need to uh, tap on this triangle away app okay once it's open uh, you will see it, it says to grant the super user request just grant it wait for it to load okay Oh, no thanks I'll just follow now uh, in current status you will say that it, it says counter 1 if it says counter 0 that means your phone is uh, not rooted but if it says any other figure apart from 0 so that means its phone is rooted so what you need to do is that uh, you need to reset flash counter uh, just continue just give it some time it will reset the flash counter over there okay uh, has been reset so yeah that's done so now uh, what you need to do is that uh, press the volume down button, the power button and the home key button at the same time. Uh, you know that you will take a screenshot, the volume goes down, everything, whatever happens, but just keep on holding them until the screen comes. I'll show you which screen. Okay, this particular screen, then you let go of the button. It says volume up to continue, so just press volume up over here okay now this particular screen comes once this particular screen comes you need to connect your phone via the data cable to your PC or to the laptop okay after connecting it just open uh, in in the laptop uh, open Odin just right click on that and hit run as administrator yes of course now in Odin you see this particular portion turns blue this is very important it means a Samsung keys has been properly installed in your PC or laptop this is very important make sure Samsung keys is the latest version is installed in your PC or laptop you need to check this auto reboot button this F set reset button and everything else will be unchecked then go to PDA and just navigate uh, through the firmware file this particular file firmware file actually select it open it it will take some time and now then hit start okay it says please wait as you can see over here it says please wait so this process will take some time to start uh, once it starts you will also see a download bar coming on your uh, phone right over here just wait for it may, uh, may take a minute or two to start actually because it will uh, flash the memory with the firmware original firmware actually I may crop the video in between uh, just to save time but uh, here is nothing more to do for you just sit back and relax till the download process completes and I'll let you know what to do after the process is completed just hold back tight okay yeah now you see the VC firmware kernel everything is coming out uh, in the screen recovery modem so the process has started and in fact in your screen also see the bar comes so this particular bar will go just like that uh, the whole process will go you can also track the progress in your screen from here this particular whole thing will turn green once the process will complete so you just sit back relax now as you can see it says pass so what I need to make sure is that uh, I need to hit the exit button uh, over here in Odin and after that uh, I can unplug the device and just uh, wait for this particular step to complete and wait for the Samsung logo to appear that is important once the Samsung logo appears I will just uh, peel off the battery from the back so I need to wait until and unless uh, the Samsung logo comes just wait for it
okay now it's coming over here so let me be ready yeah the Samsung logo comes so I'll just pull off the battery from the back and just make sure that it remains like this for a few seconds okay let's just wait for some time more now it's good to go I guess uh, again I'm pulling off the battery just the back case in case of security okay now what I need to make sure is that I need to press the volume up button the power uh, the lock key button and the home button so just press the three buttons at the same time remember it's a power up button this time so just keep on holding them yeah till the screen comes it will actually go into the recovery mode of the phone okay here it is now you let go of the buttons wait for the options to appear now here it is now the touch won't work over here as you know you need to navigate using the volume up and down button and select using the power button so I just need to wipe the uh, sorry I need to wipe the data or factory reset uh, at first now you, you see it says wipe data or factory reset just I'm just uh, hitting okay okay now I'm going to yes again and just selecting it using the lock button now it's the steps are going on just give it some time okay it's done now I need to the wire go to wipe cache partition I need to wipe that particular thing also just navigating through there using the volume buttons and then just pressing the power key and yeah the cache partitions are being wiped and the phone will restart on its own it will take some time uh, so it will just read the firmware for the very first time yeah the Samsung logo appears in fact the sound is also there that you are quite aware of the Samsung sound Galaxy device and Android device more specifically so it's pretty simple here it is guys uh, I think you're quite familiar with this particular screen uh, just select the United States set up your phone uh, just give me some time I'll crop the video I'll set up my phone I'll just go back to the original screen um, also and I'll just show you that uh, the device is successfully unrooted actually at now so that's it uh, guys just hold back sit tight I think you're also quite aware how to set this up let me set it up next uh, I do have my Samsung account and stuff so that you can have use your own Samsung account signed in do you have a Google account yes of course I have it you also guys must have it just sign in with your email ID and password yeah keep me up to date nothing with that okay signing in this may take a few minutes you are all back up and restore here of course again it will take some time to restore the device uh, Google and location, yeah, of course, it's good. Just a sec. Dropbox account, um, I, I guess, yeah, you also, you may also have an account. Okay, so I've logged in my Dropbox account. Again, it's going into the Dropbox stuff, so that I'll just set it later on. And allows files and folders, okay, allowing it. Uh, nothing more just hit next over here hit finish that's it guys as you can see this particular screen comes it makes sure that your phone is being successfully unrooted uh, that's it I guess you have liked the video please like my video subscribe to my youtube channel for more interesting updates as there is to come thank you